I see you uh, a lot in um, magazines uh, taking these in these beautiful photo shoots, uh, which uh, obviously it's 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 part of your job, it's part of what you do. But you're yeah. you're in these beautiful glossy magazines, and then there was I want to just this is W Magazine, I think, and I saw this photo recently, and I don't know what's going on in this scenario. <laughs> It's you uh, in a very uh, sexy outfit, and you're marching with, I don't know if that's the Nutcracker or... That's the Nutcracker. That is the Nutcracker. Yeah. There's this one, and then there's the follow-up to where it's getting really creepy, where he's like... <laughs> I mean, it's very artistic. I really love it, but I don't know. Do they, do they tell you these ideas before they spring them on you, you know or you what? show they up? They told me, they told me that it, they would take me to Rose Garden. To a rose garden, and that's all they told you. Yep. And then this, <laughs> and then this guy walks in. <laughs> and then this this you know handsome guy walks in, and he's not in the outfit yet. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what he's doing here. And then I see the outfit, and I'm like, wow. And I see la latex. Latex. latex, lots of latex. Latex. Yeah. And I mean, thank God it was W magazine, and I was not like trapped in. You right, know, it wasn't like a sadomasochist <laughs> group of people. That no, I've, I've, I've checked those magazines and you were not in them. No. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've checked them thoroughly, well. yes. <laughs> Still have not shown up. You know, I want to ask you uh, briefly, because I want to talk about uh, the film, which I really loved uh, and, and I saw last night, but I first wanted to ask you about, you grew up, and I think I can tell this about you just by talking to you, you grew up in a very creative home. Is this right, your father? Yes. Uh, yeah. was a mime? My father was a mime my, and a director mm -hmm. uh, on stage. My mother is an, uh, I mean, my father is still a, a director and mm -hmm. an actor, my, my mother to an actress. Um, and you didn't watch, I thought it was interesting, they didn't, you didn't watch TV as children, they let you just... No, yeah, I think the first time I watched TV at home when they bought a TV, I was seven. Right. So uh, I would go to the neighbors to watch TV, but I was not very interesting. I'm still not very interesting in you watching TV. Oh, then. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's the highest of all the art forms, you know. I don't, I don't have TV. <laughs> no, you don't have TV, but, when, but I actually, I believe this is important because I don't think kids should watch a lot of uh, TV and I think it can stunt creativity if they, especially at a young age, if they're watching it too much. What kinds of things would you do to yeah. be creative? Oh, well, anything, but um, the walls in our apartment were uh, our territories. So we would draw, write everywhere in the apartment. And your parents would allow that? They would let you oh, draw? Oh, the, yeah, they told us, well, this is your space. And uh, they, they started to get a little nervous when we grew up and we started to do mixtures with gum and toothpaste and, and, and anything. Yeah, gum like, and toothpaste are not cool with that. Paste. They thought you were gonna be doing like really cool paintings and stuff that like that. That was just ugly. Yeah. And yeah. sticky. And sticky and you're like, yeah. oh, it's my peanut butter expression. You can't. Yeah, but they, would, they wouldn't say anything. Good for them. I think that's very important. And I bet it's made, yeah. it's made you a creative person or helped you develop your creativity. E absolutely.